Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So, for today's video, is not like an official NBA rumor or anything like that. Um, this was actually from a social media group called Fadeaway World, where they were just kind of talking about like ways for teams to kind of like beef up their team and stuff like that and really compete on uh, next year for the NBA championship. And this one really caught my eye because it just seemed like a really fun rebuild to do. And that is the idea of the Atlanta Hawks making a trade for Carl Anthony Towns from the Minnesota Timberwolves. So this is the trade that was listed. Uh, let me know in the comment section below if you feel like the Hawks gave up too much or do you actually think it was a good trade or not. Uh, but it was a trade like mix, man. We got John Collins, Clint Capella, DeAndre Hunter, and their first round pick, which is the sixth pick in the draft in exchange for Carl Anthony Towns, man. So this is the rebuild we are going to do today. We're going to talk about and everything. Um, this would be a good idea. If you guys do want to see the Minnesota Timberwolves side of this rebuild, guys, get this video to 1,500 likes, and I will do that for my video tomorrow. But yeah, it just seemed like so much fun, uh, you know, teaming up. Probably the best offensive center, just looking at strictly offense of center and Carl Anthony Towns team up with uh, Trey Young, who is one of the best, you know, offensive point guards in the entire NBA, guys. Now, as far as this trade goes, um, I mean, it is a lot of talent to give up because essentially it is going to leave the Atlanta Hawks pretty bare bones outside of Cat and Trey Young. I mean, obviously you got like Jeff Teague, who is a veteran guy out there. You got Kevin Hur, who is a good shooting, shooting guard, which is good, man. Uh, but also it does free up more playing time for Cameron Bench at the small forward position. So it is kind of interesting, but really um, this is the big idea right here, man. And the reason they were talking about doing this trade, you know, in on the uh, article that I was seeing is because... Well, they were saying with the Miami Heat going to the Eastern, I'm sorry, to the NBA Finals, it shows that the East is kind of more wide open than really people think. So this would be a big time splash getting a superstar talent on the Atlanta Hawks, you know, and also get a guy that's ready to win now just as much as Trey Young is, right, man? So I don't know. It's, it's kind of interesting what I personally do if I was the Hawks. Well, we're going to find out, man, in this rebuild as we go through this and see if it actually leads to an NBA championship. Uh, by the way, I don't know why Trey Young's only an 88 to me. He should be like a 93 overall. He was the NBA, you know, he was a starting point guard in the damn All-Star game. But yeah, I guess it's only good for 88 overall these days. So yeah, man, um, I, I look at this team. What exactly is it that we need to do? Well, obviously we need to kind of beef up our depth a little bit. A lot of these guys just like, you know, like Ben Bree's fine. I like Cam Reddish. You know, he has a lot of good potential with Kevin Herter. Um, Got to add some defense to our starting lineup and also our bench. You know, so that's definitely going to be the big focus come here for the agency. We also no longer have our draft pick, so that does really suck. But, you know, it is what it is. Staff signing. We got Lloyd Pierce. I don't remember. Is he even still the head coach? He ain't anymore, man. We're going to fire him real quick here. And, uh, you know what? This actually be kind of fun. Oh, Mike D'Antoni with Trey Young and Carl Anthony Towns. I can only imagine. That, sh that, 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 that team would literally only be shooting three-pointers. You know what, man? Although I heard he's probably going to the 70... Well, Doc Rivers might go to the 76ers too. So, let's just get ourselves to coach. I'm going to get Mike D'Antoni. Um, although, Doc Rivers would be fun because he used to actually play, I believe, for the Atlanta Hawks. Didn't he, like, a long time ago? So, yeah, we'll get him signed up to a contract. Mike D'Antoni. And uh, see if he signs. I don't know why it's automatically trying to sign me, guys. Uh, because I use, like, loaded save files from, like, other people that have, like, everything updated. So, let me check it out real quick, guys. Make sure everything's fine before we continue on this rebuild. Okay, it should be good, I think. It said everything was fine, and then that happened. So, I'm not really sure, man. But, yeah. So, we got Dan Tony. Uh, NBA draft. We might still have, like, a second round pick. So, I guess that's something. Not really. But, I mean, you know, I'll, you know, Jokic, Draymond Green, those guys say otherwise, right? Man, you never know. But in 2K, you're not going to get anybody like that. So, we got the... Uh, 50th pick in the draft. I really feel good potential about this right here, man. Let's do a trade finder. Let's actually toss in. You know, I might be able to be able to actually package that pick with Dwayne Deadman because you know there might be a rebuilding team out there. Or something that doesn't mind taking on this man's you know expiring contract that would actually free up more money for us. Let's do this and uh, see if we get something. You know, obviously some future draft picks would be nice, or maybe we will. That's not bad. I would actually take Patrick Beverly. I was talking about getting some more defensive players. So, you know, the Clippers are maybe uh, be looking to blow things up anyway. So, that might be actually a little bit of a steal for us out there, man. A 79 overall player on a one-year contract. I mean, he's going to be better than Dwayne Dedman was. So, yeah, let's do that. We also give up another future second. That's okay. Now, I'll take Patrick Beverly for the first defensive, you know, added player to our team. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead. Go to rookie signings. Nothing with that. Team player options. And we got Trey Young on the, you know, team option, which I just want to give him a super max, but it's fine. We'll do that next season. We got Kevin Herter and Cam Reddish all back on the team, so that's good to go. Uh, qualifying offers. Ben Bree, I will extend it to. Damian Jones, uh, I feel like we could probably get a better backup center. So, yeah, we'll let all those guys walk away, save the money, and more touring period. So, ideally, I would love to go for, like, yo, is Marcus Smart available? Because I always feel like he'd just be, like, the perfect fit, but I don't think he's available. No, he's not. Uh, that's all good. We'll see what we can actually afford to get. So... We don't need a point guard. Shooting guard. 
I mean, we do have Kevin Herter, who is fine. One of these guys might be a better fit for us, though. Uh, small forwards, we got DeMar DeRozan. For like a one-year contract, could be a little interesting, you know, especially because we got shooters all around him. We got Gallinari at the fourth spot. We got Andre Drummond. Don't need him because we got Carl Anthony Towns. Um, yeah, let me... Uh, I'm actually going to throw like a one-year contract. It's, it's going to be quite a nice little payday for him. So we'll get about, you know, $29 million. We're going to throw that at DeMar DeRozan and just see how it works for us next season, you know, for this next season. Uh, see if he can kind of return back to form of his, uh, well, you know, his Toronto Raptor days. But it might be solid, guys, having all the shooting around him. So outside of that... Uh, looking at the four spot, I mean, we could just go all in with offense and just go ahead and get Davis Bertans. Bro, we're not going to have any defense on this team. I'm going to give him also a one-year deal. Like I said, I don't want to commit to anything just because, like, that's going to be more next season when free agency is a bit deeper and seeing how, you know, Trey Young and Cat kind of operate with themselves this season anyway. But, yeah, literally no defense in our starting five. That's okay, man. Defense is overrated. Um, Jeff Teague, I think I'm going to get for a trade piece. I think I should be able to flip him for something because we already got Beverly. So, yeah, we'll get Teague on this team. We'll probably be flipped for something. Um, Justin Holiday, we got Meyer Leonard, Robin Lopez. Okay, let me get Robin for a season, I guess, for like a backup center. Could be looking a little weak out there with those positions, though. Um, anything else? I mean, I'll take Wesley Matthews, another good veteran. You know, obviously has starting experience. Defense not as good as it really once was. But two, we got Justin Holiday. I'm a 76 overall player. Can't go wrong with that. And besides for that, man, we should pr uh, probably be good to go. Like I said, not a lot of defense on our starting five, but, you know, I'm going to go ahead and simulate two at the beginning of the regular season, see what it's looking like, see what we got working with, and, uh, yeah, man, probably go from there. Okay, so this is the team to start the season, guys. At point guard, we got Trey Young, two, we got Kevin Herter, DeMar DeRozan, Davis Bertans, and we got Carl Anthony Towns. Going to be a really interesting team with a Mike D'Antoni type of system. Honestly speaking, I would probably, like, give the ball to DeMar DeRozan. Focus on him being a little bit more of a playmaker and just putting the shooters all around him. That could be really interesting, of course. Uh, for the bench, we got Beverly, Cam Reddish, Justin Holiday, Jeff Teague, and Bruno Fernando. So, obviously, we are going to try to trade away Jeff Teague at some sort of, you know, value outside of him. Uh, I have no idea what we're actually going to get in this case. But we'll see, man. So, Jeff Teague. Let me toss in Bruno. You know, maybe we'll get a good, like, backup center or something. And we'll just see what's offered up with this. Hopefully, something, you know, pretty decent for us, man. Um, like, Brooke Lopez. Hey, look at that. Look at that, man. I said Brooke Lopez. There he is, 81 overall player. He would be fantastic for our bench. Um, give us the defense we need off of there. Maybe we'll get a younger player. We got Mitchell Robinson, Alfred Payton. Wow, that is... That's a really nice trade right there, guys. Like, I would be so tempted, actually, to put Cat at the power forward spot and Mitchell Robinson at center just to, like, beef up things. We do have a top... Th we do think of a first-round pick to do so. We're going to have to pay Mitchell Robinson next season. Um... I think I'm going to pass on it, guys. Because I'm not going to want to pay Mitch Robinson that much money. And, like I said, I don't really like the idea of Cat anyway at the uh, power forward position. Like, you know, obviously could work, but it's not, like, completely ideal. So, yeah, let's get Brooke Lopez. We also get Tory Craig. I like this. Just get a nice veteran, you know, for the uh, bench unit. Help things out over there. And, uh, yeah, so that will still be our starting five. Bench unit, pretty damn solid, guys. Going to go with a nine-man rotation. Uh, we got Cat and Trey playing a lot. Let's get, uh, you know, DeMar playing quite a bit also. Get you at about 28 minutes per game. Uh, Bertans right there. That should be completely fine. Okay, man. Now, looking at our system, we have a, wow, four and a half star for the seven-second system. Let's see if, like, pace and space is even better. It's not. Yeah, definitely doing a seven-second team. That is actually perfect for this squad, man. I absolutely love that. Um, for our coach game plan, I am going to do first scoring option. You know, I want... I want Trey to focus on getting the ball over to Carl Anthony Towns before he takes his own crazy ass shots. Put him at the second one right there. And we'll do DeMar DeRozan for the third. Uh, we definitely want this team to, you know, uh, probably get shooters open. Shoot at will. It's a Dan Tony offense. So we want this team to really run the basketball, man. This is going to be really fun, guys. This is really going to be an interesting looking team. Uh, let's go ahead and simulate this NBA season and see how this new look Atlanta Hawks team can do. Okay, so this is going to be actually a really interesting rebuild just because typically in 2K, you know, the first season, the Atlanta Hawks are usually like decent. Then the second season, they're competing for a championship. So that second season is really going to indicate if this is going to be a good trade or not. Um, this time around, 42 and 39 puts them above 500, puts them probably into the playoffs. So, that's not a bad start. Um, I still think they gave up quite a bit in the trade, though, man. But simulate through date. But, you know, time will tell if we win a championship or not. Uh, so, we got Jokic's MVP. I have never seen that in 2K history, guys. 35 points, 17 rebounds, 9 assists. Damn. He literally averaged 35 points. Wow. 
Okay, we got LaMelo as rookie of the year. So obviously, you know, him and uh, D'Lo in the backcourt be a little interesting. We got Spencer Dinwiddie. We got Giannis. Luka most improved and Jack Vaughn is coach of the year. All NBA first, uh, all NBA second, and all NBA third. So no Land Hawks making it, unfortunately speaking. But that's all good, man. So we are the, you can't see it, we are the seventh seed in the Eastern Conference against the Boston Celtics. We're in the playoffs, so it's definitely a good start. Uh, player stats, though, we do have Cat at 27, 14, and 5. So we played fantastic. Trey Young at 23, 4, and 6. So both those guys... You know, really solid efficiency all around for them. Um, no big time complaints. Obviously, the rest of the team, you know, is going to be the big difference. Uh, DeRozan was nice, guys. 21 points, 5 rebounds, 4 assists. I will definitely bring him back next season if it's not for $29 million. Like, if he wants, like, $15 million, I can definitely see myself swinging that. Uh, Bird Towns was fine, but I do think there's probably a better long-term solution at the uh, power forward position for us than, you know, a guy that... Strictly shoots threes. Uh, Cam Rush was okay. Kevin Herter. You know, Brooke Lopez, obviously a nice little addition with him too. So, yeah, guys. Uh, playoffs, we do have the Boston Celtics. Simulate round. Not really expecting to beat the Celtics right here. I mainly want to get this next offseason and uh, see what we can do with it. So, 2-1. We got tied series 2-2. Down 3-2. And, we, yeah, we lose four games to two. Uh, no, not surprised by that. You know, one bit, man. Like, so now we can get on this next offseason. We kind of saw what works. We kind of saw what didn't work. And, uh, yeah, man. So, draft pick wise not gonna be a great draft pick but we're at that point now where you know we don't have to like draft for like future starter we can now draft for like hey this is gonna be a guy that can be like a solid rotational piece for us or something like that going forward man so yeah we got the suns and the celtics in the finals good for the phoenix suns and uh well we lost to the champions at least so that makes us look a little bit better jason tatum is finals mvp good for that young kid out there all right man here we go let's get to this offseason looking forward to this one right here man we now know what we have, right? We now know what we have. We have a pretty solid team. So hopefully Trey Young resigns. <laughs> yeah, if he doesn't, that will just ruin the entire rebuild, man. Uh, so let's go straight to the NBA draft. I guess we actually should have like a near lottery pick because we were the eighth seed. So yeah, it should actually be pretty solid unless we traded it. We did not, thankfully. 18th pick in the draft. Uh, I might just go best available if I'm being 100% honest. So yeah, looking at some rankings. We got McCurt Maker. Could actually be a little interesting. Uh, let's, what are the overalls looking like? We got Yus Usman Garuba, who is a power forward. We got Terrence Shannon. So, this guy is rebounder, inside scoring, post defense, more of a traditional power forward it's looking like. Um, I did say best available, though, and I do need... Man, McCurry would be a little interesting, guys. How tall is he? Seven foot with a seven six wingspan. You know what, man? I'm pulling the trigger on it, man. I'm going to go ahead and, sell, ahead and get myself a curb maker, and hopefully it can be something for us. If not, then, uh, you know, that's fine, too. 71 overall. Not going to be nothing for us this season. Team player options. Cam Reddish is back on the option, so that's nice to see. Qualifying offers. Okay, so Trey Young. Um, well, we obviously have to extend that. I can't out risk losing him, but we're not going to sign him to a contract until, you know, until the actual moratorium period is over with, or it's just going to automatically give him the uh, qualifying offer, which is really stupid that 2K does that, but... Yeah, I'm not even really going to be able to sign anybody because I cannot risk losing Trey Young. So, we have to get out of the moratorium. Oh, there's an offer from the Lakers. Of course, man. Okay. So, well, we got to match that. Definitely got to match that. Okay. So, Trey Young should be back on the team. Let's uh, make sure there's nobody else we got to really go back for. So, yeah, we'll kind of hold off. Trey Young still there. Matching it. Matching it. Okay, we're in free agency now, man. So, uh, at looking at players available, we could still go back and get DeMar DeRozan. Eric Paschke would be kind of interesting. Um, how much y'all want for like a Kawhi Leonard these days, man? $14 million. And we could free up $14 million. Or even get like a Jimmy Butler. He would be obviously a really good fit. Give us that veteran piece. Uh, Jaron Jackson would be like a perfect world, but we can't really afford him. So let's see if we can free up about $14 million uh, You know, to go for another big name. Uh, we got about $13 million with brooke lopez so yeah we'll definitely trade him away brooke lopez uh let me also toss in McCur i guess our rookie we have to do that like i don't really have a choice that's a nice trade man pj washington would actually be like the perfect fit and we get a first round pick out of it i might just have to do that trade and just try oh we got rj barrett and seco demboya another interesting trade right there but uh 91 million dollars for rj barrett he's only 19 now he'd be a little older but the ages are kind of broken in 2k man i like this trick i like getting the first round pick out of it man i'm doing this one right here and hopefully i can still you know throw money out to uh another like player like Kawhi. negative three or 3.48 million dollars okay what do i gotta do now man so to do that 
Is that enough money? Yo, somebody just offered me up a draft pick, guys. It's all, it's all I want is a draft pick. Just, just give me that. There we go. Draft picks from the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, we got that. Can I now afford Kawhi Leonard? Damn! 67000 I will give you 67000 to join this team. Okay, Kawhi Leonard. We're going to forget about him, guys. That's <laughs> so... Wait, is he restricted? No, he's not. Okay, man. There we go. I'll just offer up... Oh. He'll do that. Come on, man. Come on, Kawhi. I'm not going to have money for anybody else. Uh, Jimmy Butler. Uh, okay, Shea's restricted. Rudy Gobert. We got Bubble Warren out there. Bubble Warren actually kind of makes sense. I don't really want to get Jimmy Butler because I always get Jimmy Butler in rebuilds. So, I'm kind of feeling something different. Um, there's Jonathan Isaac. Of course, we want to go the route of, you know, the defensive player we're talking about. We could finesse and get John Collins back on the team. Like... Maybe this is just one big finesse. I'm actually going to go for it, man. Like, that's happened for where guys have returned to teams. So, yeah. John Collins, we got to renounce rights. We'll get him back. I'm actually cool with that. That makes me really happy. I didn't really want to get rid of John Collins in the first place. Kawhi to the Thunder. Okay. Um, Now we're kind of in a difficult situation. Oh, I can still get DeMar back on the team, it looks like. Yeah, let me also, you know, also got to get Kevin Herter back, too, if we can. That's a lot of money for Kevin Herter. Okay, DeMar DeRozan's back. Okay, okay. Hey, we're making a living out TJ to the Clippers. That's fine. I mean, tomorrow was really nice for us, man. I don't know how much money I actually gave him, but uh, yeah. So, whatever it is, I probably would not give him that much in real life. Got a little bit more mo uh, extra money out here for some other guys. Uh, is that Carmelo Anthony? Yeah, we don't really need him at all. Heart would be kind of cool, I guess. We got Jay, oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy Lamb. I mean, he'd be a solid scorer off the bench. Let's get him signed up. Can probably play multiple positions for us. Really got to get a backup center, too. Really got to get a backup center. So... Okay, we got Jeremy Lamb. Let's look at what centers are available for the backup role. Uh, Boban. You're cool, Boban. I like Boban. We'll get him. And, oh, what was that? Was that also, uh, yeah, let me go back over here. Can I also get P.J. Tucker? I'll put him at power forward. He'll go up to at least like a 75 overall player. So, hopefully I get both these guys. There we go. I think the team is complete, guys. I'm going to go ahead and simulate to the beginning of the regular season and see what the squad's looking like. Okay, guys, so this is the team as of right now. We got Trey Young, Cam Reyes, DeMar DeRozan, John Collins back on the team. And we got Carl Anthony Towns, of course, with Benjamin. We got P.J. Washington, who was originally supposed to be the starting power forward, but obviously getting shifted to a six-man role now because of having John Collins back out there. Um, I guess you could maybe. He's only 6'7". It says the position is power forward slash center, but... I think you could probably also play some small forward if absolutely needed. We got Kevin Herter, Jeremy had a little lamp, and Boban Marjanovic. Uh, we do need a backup point guard right now. You know, we got Brandon Goodwin. Um, so, yeah, we got to find a little bit better than that out there if we can. Uh, I'm actually going to do a trade of... Let me do a trade of just Goodwin and I guess Jeremy Lamb because we got Herter who can play both positions off the bench. That'd be fine. So, I'd rather have a really good backup point guard than having Jeremy Lamb out there anyway. Um, no trade offers. Wow. Okay, just nobody wants Jeremy Lamb. Doesn't have no trade clause. What about just these two guys? No draft pick. I've never... Oh, oh, Goodwin has a no trade clause. Okay, well, I guess that makes sense. Uh, I guess it's just Lamb and a first round pick then. Okay. How did that man manage to get a no trade clause? I need to call up his agent, guys. He did some good work out there. We got Matisse and George Hill. That is not even worth looking at nothing else, man. That is, that is the trade. That is the trade. I know people hate when I don't look at every single trade, but I wasn't going to find better, man. That's literally exactly what I need. A good veteran point guard. And we also instantly just found the replacing backup small board with Matisse Fireball. That was like a beautiful, beautiful deal right there, guys. Okay, so now Matisse actually wants to start, which I do not hate. Using tomorrow with bench, only an 81 overall player now. I don't hate that, guys. You know what? I'm actually probably taking away Boban's minutes. Uh, use PJ as a backup center. I'm kind of fine with that. Plus, John Collins play backup center at times too if needed. Um, I'm really liking this team, guys. To me, this is a championship team. Yeah, this is a championship team, no doubt. So let's get uh, let's get Cap playing a billion minutes himself while we're at it. There you go. Get you at 37. Apparently, that's the new billion. Uh, Trey Young playing 40. We're going full on James Harden this season, guys. Going to get a triple, quadruple, double. Uh, yeah, man. Okay, so we still got the seven second offenses, four and a half stars. That's good. I think this is the championship team. I think we are at that point. I think Matisse Thibault was the perfect selection, perfect fit for this team. Cam Reddish, of course, getting him is nice. Let's go ahead, guys. Simulate this NBA season and see if we can win it all. Okay, so a regular season record of 60 and 21, man, which is fantastic, which goes to show that, hey, at least this trade does not screw up the Atlanta Hawks in NBA 2K21 because there's a good chance, man, that, you know, we could have went like 30 and 52, right? Does that math check out? 
I think it does. Wow, I did that quickly, man. Did that way too quickly. Um, and it's like, yeah, that trade just makes no sense because the Hawks are always good at this point in 2K, right, guys? So, simulate through date against the Toronto Raptors. First, the W, guys, 61 and 21, man. Giannis is MVP on the Miami Heat. Keep on seeing him going there, guys. Keep on seeing it. Cade Cunningham on uh, the rookie of the year on the OKC Thunder. Lamelo as Red Blob Award, I guess, because they can't freaking fix the game. And move the damn thing up a little bit. Okay, I'm sorry. Giannis defensive player and we got Trey Young as most improved player guys 26 points 4 rebounds 11 assists per game 52% field goal percentage which is really the stopping factor for making Trey Young a top 2 or 3 point guard in the NBA is simply just work on the efficiency and obviously his defense too right um, so all NBA first we got Trey Young making that now up to a 94 overall player uh, all NBA second looking like this Malcolm Brogdon all NBA second team I kind of like it, 2K. Yo, look at y'all being different out there for once, man. I like that. Malcolm Brogdon. Hey, we also got Cat making it. Should have pointed him out first since he's literally on my team. And we got the All-NBA third. Okay, so now we went from the eighth seed all the way up to the first seed, guys. You love this year. I think we are the seventh seed last year, actually. Uh, but let's go to these player stats. We got Cat, 28 points, 13 rebounds, 5 assists. That's the best. That, like, like, that's literally like the best thing you can see is when your point guard gets most improved and all nba first and they're not the leading score that means you got a good team man so yeah cat at 28 we got 26 and 11 assists for trey young john collins who's now on the team again at 19 and 11 yeah this would actually be a finesse if they could get him back on the team and just resign him you know after um trading him over to the uh timberwolves for a season or two cam reddish uh you know really living up to his own man it says he's still 19 so the man literally doesn't age none of these guys do apparently 2k you gotta fix that man yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you gotta age your players man you gotta do it uh, PJ Washington at 14 and 6, so very nice, nice numbers for him. I mean, those are like near starter numbers, and he was doing that as a six man. DeRozan looked like he found himself a home on the bench, sorry to say. And uh, yeah, there's everybody else doing a, a good, good basketball boy job out there, man, as basketball dude would say, if you guys remember him. Uh, but yeah, first round, Orlando Magic is boomer bust, guys. I want to win a championship, similar round. If I don't, I, I at least want to get to the Eastern Conference Finals. Like, don't lose in the first round to the Magic, guys. Don't Just don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Okay, we're good. We're good. Uh, oh, we got Giannis in the second round, though. That's no fun. Nobody wants that. Well, I don't. Maybe, I mean, maybe I'm sure Giannis does and the Heat fans do. But simulate round, guys. See how this goes. Come on. Come on, guys. Get past Giannis, man. We got a lot to throw at him. We got a lot to throw. Oh. Yes, go, man. I could have swore we were going to lose right there. Oh, I thought we were going to lose right there, man. Oh, get pumped, guys. You getting pumped? Stand up. Now drop and give me 20. Yeah, you don't have to do that. You just watch the video. His name Tim, Tim Terry, Tyrell Terry. I was something about Tim Terry. Uh, sounded nice. Okay, we got the Boston Celtics. I feel like after beating Giannis like that, we could do anything, guys. Simulate round, Boston Celtics, last year's champions. Come on, man. Last year's champions. We're this year's champions. Got them four games to one. All right. And uh, we are blessed with playing the eight seed in the NBA Finals. I don't know if that's the right word. Might just be a little lucky. Or maybe this... Y'all got Trey Young also? Oh, Thaddeus. Yes, Thaddeus Young. Okay, I was going to say, man. I saw him shooting threes and stuff and turning the ball over. I was like, this got to be Trey Young. Uh, but here we go. So, simulate round, man. Oh, don't lose to the 18. You cannot do that, man. Not after this journey we have been on today. Not after this journey we've been on today. 2K, 2K. No, not after this journey we've been on, man. Come on. <laughs> it's the 18, 2K. It's the okay, 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 okay. We are going into a game seven sudden. Oh, Matisse, you cannot be cold, man. Okay, we are switching over to our death ball lineup. Oh, yeah, 86 overall goes up to an 86, guys. I mean, we cannot play a cold player. We, we got everybody, got you know, everybody's got to be hot out there and stuff, right, man? So, okay, um, we're not gonna have a center, we're doing small ball, we're doing small ball, guys. Well, in our bench unit, at least. Not so much our starting five. Okay, guys. Death lineup. Cat, game seven, 48 minutes. Trey Young, game seven, 48 minutes. I mean, the rest of you guys can kind of, you know, share and stuff. But, no, man. We got we got to play our starters a lot. We can't play around. Bobine gets one minute. You know, can't be completely small ball. Doesn't work. as the Houston Rockets. Uh, John Collins, 34, 34, no, 33, 31. Okay, that looks good. Death lineup, man. Four and a half star system. Still looking the best out there. All right. Can we do... Yo, who is on this team, by the way? Booker, Aiden, uh, Ellie Okobo. Is he a superstar or something? 78 overall. It's nice. Thaddeus, of course. Mike Conley. Oh, we, we got this, guys. Come on. We had this yesterday, guys. Simulate with Simcast. Come on, man. Let's do this. 
Let's please do this, please. Okay, it's looking good, looking good, looking like, oh, looking like a blow up, man. The death lineup, yeah, definitely working. Definitely working there, man. Here we go, here we go. Two seconds left, man. You know what? It's been a minute. Let's go celebrate. All right, guys, so this was definitely, wait, 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 wait. Oh, here we go. Yeah, shoot with that. Hey, yo, I did him like that, man. I had to do him like that, guys. But no, this was a really fun rebuild to do. I actually am considering doing this a little bit more where I just like maybe get like some sort of just like, I don't know if I want to say realistic. I don't know if it's a realistic trade or not. But, you know, just like something that one of you guys maybe come up with. It's like, hey, I'm going to do a rebuild of that, man. That'll be a lot of fun to do. So, and, uh, you know, get your guys' thoughts and opinions in the comment section below on if you think it would be a realistic trade or not, man. Maybe do like a, like, like, like a trade trade speculation series or something. I don't really know, man. It could be a lot of fun, though. But we're NBA champions. Do I think that either team should do this? Well, the Hawks, obviously, they want a championship, man. The Timberwolves, well, if this video gets to 1,500 likes, I will do this for a rebuild tomorrow, and we will see, man, if that actually works. But uh, you would like to think it would. But, uh, no, it's, it's definitely interesting. I like the idea of teaming up trade with Cat, both, you know, two guys that clearly want to win championships, clearly want more than their current situation as far as winning games, especially Cat. I mean, Trey, you, you 21 yet, Cat? Or, I'm sorry, uh, Trey? Okay, Cat looks really short right there. You drink, man. What are you drinking, bro? And, uh, yeah, Batista, I know is, no, he might be 21. He might be, maybe. Dan Tony definitely is 21. Damn, why are you wearing that checkered shirt, bro? You want a picnic or something? Okay, but yeah, close out game 37, 13, and 6 for Cat. 33 and 15 for Trey. 26 for John Collins. I still don't think it was cheesy getting him back on the team either, man. I think it's realistic that can happen because guys do come back. So, yeah, man. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to drop that like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And peace out.